Hi there, this is Vineet from Bioinformatica. In this video, we are going to have a brief understanding about the homology and its importance in bioinformatics. So without further ado, let's get started. When we are talking about sequence homology in bioinformatics, we are basically considering the sequential arrangement of the bases in DNA or RNA and amino acid in case of proteins. The sequence homology is the biological homology, defined in terms of shared ancestry in evolutionary history of life. Homologous sequences or homologs are two or more sequences that descends from the common ancestral sequence. Hence, we can say these are the results of divergent evolution. The homologs can be further classified into several classes like orthologs, paralogs, genologs, homologs, and gametologs, etc. We are going to have brief ideas about all these classes in upcoming slides. Orthologs Orthologs are the sequences that have diverged after a speciation event and thus found in the different species. For example, the hemoglobin gene in mammals. The orthologs are very much useful in the construction of phylogenetic trees, comparison of the evolution of genomes, and give information for the classification of organisms. Paralogs. These are the genes that have duplicated before or after the speciation event. These sequences have diverged within the same species during the gene duplication process. Paralogous genes are important in the study of protein evolution. For example, four classes of hemoglobin gene, hemoglobin A, hemoglobin A2, hemoglobin B and hemoglobin F are examples of paralogous genes. We can also classify these paralogs into three types. These are not important to remember, but it is good to have a brief idea about all these types. The first type is the sympaerologous type. The sympaerologous or the imparalogous are those genes or sequences which have duplicated after the last speciation event. The second one is the alloparalogous type. The alloparalogous or the outparalogous are those genes or sequences which have duplicated before the last speciation event. And the last type is known as the analogs. These are the genes which are the result of a whole genome duplication event. Xenologs The xenologs are formed by the transfer of genes from one organism to another unrelated organism. This process is known as lateral gene transfer or horizontal gene transfer. The lateral gene transfer can occur among the unrelated organisms which is different from the vertical gene transfer where the gene transfer takes place from the parents to offsprings. Bacterial transfer genetic material among themselves to gain antibiotic resistance or virulence. The lateral gene transfer is the major contributor to disease outbreaks. And the rise of the hypervirulence human pathogens. Homologs The hydration of the genes from the two separate species produces homologous genes. These are basically special classes of xenologs where the genes which are separated by speciation event when hybridized together via lateral gene transfer are known as homologs. Here in this example, 
the ancestral species divided into two different species that is species 1 and species 2 the species 1 is having gene a1 while the species 2 is having gene a2 in case of homologues another hybrid species is formed bilateral gene transfer from the two species species 1 and species 2 to create the hybrid species which contains both gene a1 and a2 this hybrid gene is known as homologues analogs analogous genes are those genes that have identical or similar functions but don't share similar origin or ancestors thus the implication is that the analogous protein followed evolutionary path from different origins to converge upon the same activity thus analogous genes or proteins are considered as a product of convergent evolution for example the functions of both human and squid eyes are same but the origins are different so we can say that the analogs are homologous in activity but heterologous in origin here we have depicted the basic difference between homologs and analogs the human and chimpanzees share common ancestors both have histone h1.1 and histone h1.2 in their bodies this shows the divergent evolution and similar genes in both shows the homologous nature of the genes while e coli have different ancestor than that of the human and chimpanzees but there is similarity in the hns protein of e coli and histone 1 of the human and chimpanzee this shows the analogous nature of the genes summary homologs homologs are two or more sequences that descendant from a common ancestral sequence orthologs orthologs are sequences which are result of the speciation process paralogs paralogs are sequences which are the result of gene duplication process genologs Xenologs are the similar sequences between distantly related organisms in evolutionary history. Analogs Analogs are the sequences that show similar structure or functions but don't share any common ancestral sequence. Hope this video helped you to develop a basic idea about the concepts of homology. You are most welcome to post your doubt and suggestions in the comment section below. There is also a quiz for you to attempt. The link is in the descriptions. Any like, comment, share and subscription would be highly appreciated. Thanks for choosing Bioinformatica. Have a nice day ahead.